Hello! First of all, I want to apologize for not being able to be here in person. Uh, second, I want to thank my team for allowing me to participate in this way. I want to reflect on a few key points that we went over in our training um, as well as discuss today. First, clearly communicate. A couple of things to remember under this key principle is separate the facts from the story, and two, keep an open mind um, and listen without jumping to conclusions. Um, the second principle is actively listen. Um, a few things to remember under this principle is, one, pay attention um, and give the speaker your, your undivided attention. And two, uh, make sure that you're listening to understand, not necessarily um, thinking about how you're going to respond. Um, and third, clarify misunderstandings. And again, just a few things to remember under this principle is, ask for clarification when, when words or meanings seem vague, um, and restate what you heard to ensure common misunderstandings, or to ensure common understandings. Um, these principles are important because the way you communicate is a huge reflection on who you are as a person, as an employee, and as a leader. Um, so if you're preparing for a difficult conversation, three things to remember are to clearly communicate, actively listen, and clarify misunderstandings. Um, as we discussed these principles in the training we, uh, that we did last week, we emphasized the importance of setting goals as well as being held accountable for the goals you make. Um, during our tra training, we provided a job aid that was about the size of a business card and contained our key principles um, that they could use when preparing for a difficult conversation. Um, also, we had them refer to the card or the, the job aid um, as they created goals. Um, in addition to the cards, we provided each person with a goal setting worksheet um, that we uh, created using concepts taken from the six D's of, of learning book um, and then had them create two goals uh, that they wanted to work on to improve their communication skills. Uh, we also let them know that they were going to be held accountable for their goals that they created by giving them a copy uh, or by giving their manager a copy of their goals and letting them know that they would be having monthly one-on-one -on -one accountability meetings um, and that these goals would be discussed. Um, as a team, we learned a couple of things from our, our training um, as we had them set goals. First, we learned that uh, since they knew they were going to be held accountable for these goals, um, that they took the assignment very seriously. And second, we learned that only giving them five or six minutes to reflect and create their own goals um, was not enough time. Um, due to the lack of time um, that we have today, uh, we won't be able to take time now to create goals, um, but we still wanted to challenge you to do so. Uh, we've posted on Canvas our job aid and our goal setting week worksheet, um, and we encourage you to take some time this week to print off the card and the, and the worksheet and create your own goals um, to break down those communication barriers and, and better be able to communicate with respect and, and professionalism. Um, thank you so much. I want to thank you for your time and, and uh, leave you with a short video clip. Hope you enjoy.